everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing the tag video. It is called, I better find out what it's called before I start talking, huh? It is called the Bad and Boring Makeup Tag, which my friend Teresa is Dead here on YouTube just created a video a couple of days ago. I will link her video in the description box down below, but just a fair warning, she's very upfront and she does have some profanity in her videos, so if you're not comfortable with that, I'm just letting you know up front. She cracks me up. She's one of my really good friends here on YouTube. It was so funny. I was like, those are really, really good questions, and I'm always up for a fun tag video. So on top of doing a tag video, I'm also doing this in collaboration with Hot Mess Mama MD. We've been trying to collect our schedules and do a video together for quite some time, but she and I are collabing on this video. I am super excited. I really love her channel and we recently, I think I I would say we, I think we found each other maybe like uh, two months ago maybe, maybe a month ago and we instantly connected. She's just an amazing person, creates wonderful content and she is around our age group. She's over 40. I will leave a link to her channel in the description box down below and let her know that you're a part of my family. She is absolutely beautiful, by the way. Like, I love her teeth, I love her smile. She's just so radiant and so beautiful, and she is going to now be uploading five days a week. That is a really tough schedule, but she is she is doing it, she's kicking butt at it, and I just love her channel. She's very informative, she always has her daughter on. Just She's just a really, really, really good, wholesome girl. So I will leave the link to all of that information in the description box down below, and she's just an amazing person, and I am so honored to be collaborating with her, and I think we definitely have a lot in common. Uh, you know, just overall, like I watch all of her videos, and she's just so engaging, and I just, I really, really appreciate her work ethic, and I just love her to death. So let's get started. I'm excited about it, and I'm also excited to hear her answers to these questions. So when you get done watching my video, head over to her channel so you can hear her answers to these questions in this tag video, because that's kind of the fun part about tag videos, is everybody always has different answers, different perspectives. It's just fun. Okay, so the first question is a foundation finish that you don't like. That one is pretty easy for me to answer, only because you guys know I just don't like a matte foundation. Super mattes. Now, I like satin mattes, natural mattes, but when they're like really matte, for example, the Morphe foundation, although I was able to make the Morphe foundation work. I did add a little bit of primer oil in with the foundation, and then I sprayed my skin with the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. Then I applied the foundation, and then I applied another layer of the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist, and I was able to make it work. It's definitely a lot of coverage, and it's very cakey if you're not careful with that foundation. The other one that doesn't work for me is the YSL All Hours. I know that that's such a holy grail for a lot of you out there who have oily skin, and I can definitely understand why. For me, it it makes me look like about 100 years old. Okay, so the next question is the worst mascara you've ever tried. Okay, so recently I had a full plan. I was going to be out in the water and I wanted everything waterproof, right? Everybody talks about this mascara being like the best mascara ever because it's waterproof, it's from Lancome. It's the Lancome Monsoor Big Waterproof Mascara. You guys, <laughs> I had the worst raccoon eyes I have ever had in my life. I had it all up into here, all down here. I had to literally take it off. And I'm like, wait a minute, I thought this was a waterproof formula. When you hear waterproof, you think it's gonna be kind of budge proof, which I had heard that it was a fantastic mascara. Uh, not for me, it was a mess. I had it all over me within a few hours of wearing it. It was ridiculous. And I'm like, how does this handle water? Like, I don't know how this is water. It might be waterproof because I wasn't able to test it to be waterproof. It might be waterproof, but it is Raccoon Eye City. And if you don't want the black all over your eyes, uh, if anybody has this mascara and loves it, let me know in the comments down below. And maybe I'm using it wrong. Hell if I know. It just didn't work. Like I literally, it was all over the place. And this is a new tube. So I can't say that it was like an old tube and that's why it was doing that. This is a new tube. I bought it brand new so that I can have like my waterproof products that I need for the summer. And yeah, 
didn't work not sure why but yeah I would say that one was more recent the worst mascara that I've worn okay number three one thing you've tried once and then thrown away ooh Oh, that's a good question because I don't know. Five minutes later. I'm not sure because here's the thing. I've tried several products once and then never picked them up again for many reasons. But I would say my recent is the Lawless Concealer. So if you guys haven't heard, there's a brand called Lawless. They're on the Sephora website. I will put a picture right up here in case, if, hopefully I can find it. But they released a new concealer and I bought a shade and brought it home and it was like clumpy. I think there was something wrong with it because I put it on my under eyes and oh my gosh, like you're talking, this isn't a normal concealer. It was really dry. Somehow in the lab, you know, the formula was bad. So I remember I went to kind of look to see what everybody else was saying about it. And then I noticed that it was pulled off of the Sephora website. So that is why I thought, okay, this isn't right. I'm going to throw it away. I did throw away that Lawless Concealer. That would probably be the one thing that I tried one time and threw it away. Okay, the next one is the most boring eyeshadow palette you own. Oh my gosh, the Tarte Round palettes. I have like four of those stupid suckers and they are the most boring palettes. They're just not my, no, like, no, Tarte, please stop. Like we have enough of those Tarte palettes, the little round ones that have all those different colors in it that sometimes are not even dark enough to, you know, cover a medium skin tone. Like I just don't understand, like we need something different. Uh, those I would say are probably the most boring, just like, bleh. like I have no need or want to ever pull it open. In fact, the last one I got from like a BoxyCharm, I actually put it in a box so that I could give it to the shelter because I do donate a lot of my makeup to the shelter. So I didn't even bother open it and using it. I just thought I would donate it because ugh, they're so dugum boring. Number five, a makeup trend you think is boring and want to go away. Ooh, boring. Ooh, that is a good question. I have a lot that I don't really like, but boring. Boring. Hmm. Five minutes later. I don't know. Makeup trends that are boring. Why is that so hard to answer? Two thousand years later. Hmm. Well, I don't know that that would be boring though. <laughs> I think it's a little ridiculous, but I'm not sure if it's boring. Okay, I got it. Okay, so the trend that I think is boring is all the food palettes. I do not want to open a palette of pizza with a pizza packaging and put it on my eye. <laughs> like, that is the most boring thing to me. I look at it and I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? No, it's kind of silly. It is. And it's it's getting a, it's getting a little bit too much cuz they're like making every single like I'm like done. Like the burgers and the pizzas and the whole like food makeup trend boring. Okay, that needs to go away. Number 6, the worst liquid lipstick you have tried. Oh, shiskies. Uh Worst liquid lipsticks I have tried. Oh, dang. I have a few, but I'm trying to think of which ones they are. Um, liquid lipsticks. Liquid lipsticks. Oh, oh, I know, I know. The Urban Decay, is it the Vice something? The Vice, oh, what's it called? Hold on, I gotta look it up because I don't remember. Vice liquid lipsticks. I do not like the Urban Decay vice liquid lipsticks they're chunky and they're so drying on my lips i can't wear them like i'm not super big on speaking of lips i gotta get me a refresher i gotta put my uh glowing gen back on gotta get my charlotte tilbury back on yes, it makes my lips dry it's chunky i don't like it it's i just don't like it it's not my favorite that is definitely Ooh, i like it when i know the answer right away <laughs> This is fun. Okay. Number seven. What color do you think is the most boring one? Ooh, I know. The light cream shade. So you know how every single palette is always going to have like a light ivory or cream shade? I know why they do it because it's supposed to kind of help you, you know, maybe up here kind of set this 
area and then sometimes you can use it to kind of blend out some of your harsher lines. I know why they put it in there but it's boring AF. And I always look at a palette and I'm like, I could have totally gotten rid of that shade and put a different shade in there. Like, I don't know how many times that has happened where I've got a palette and there's a shade missing, whether it's like a really good transition shade, whether it's a cool tone or a warm tone, or whatever the case is, like a really good shimmer shade that the palette needs. They wasted a spot using a light cream shade. So it's that's not my favorite, only because I'm sure, stop Yeti Cup. I'm sure many of you are like me. You might even set your eyeshadow primer or concealer with your own powder, like whatever powder you're using. So I don't know. It's just kind of a boring shade. And yeah. Next up, number eight. What brand do you think is coming out with the most boring things? say like Lancome and Estee Lauder. I just don't see those brands releasing a lot of like really good uh, trend worthy type of products. Um, those type of brands, I don't know what it is, but they always miss the mark. I, I don't understand it, but yeah, those are kind of the more boring brands. I actually like a lot of products in the Lancome category, just as far as like uh, their foundations and you know stuff like that, like their complexion products. They don't really have a lot of like really fun collections and I think they sh should start doing that. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Number nine, which step in your makeup routine is the most boring one? Most boring one, my brows. Oh, my brows. I hate doing my brows. And it's only because my brows are like ever changing and I've been growing them out. I went from these little teeny little stumpy weird little lines to now starting to have hair. But now that I got the hair, I don't know what to do with it because it's been two decades since I've had hair. So my brows are like my biggest struggle and they're the most boring, tedious, like they kind of get me in a pissy mood. Like it takes me, I have to get in that mindset to do my brows. And some days I could knock them out flat within five minutes. And then the other days I'm sitting there a half hour later wanting to just take a break because I don't want to do it anymore. So my brows are definitely the most boring and my biggest pain in my ass. Anyway. Number 10, if you had to choose between a good base and a bad eye look or a bad base and a good eye look, what would you choose? Oh my gosh, a good base, bad eye look all day long. I've always said this from the day I started my channel. If your complexion and the base of your makeup looks amazing, it doesn't matter. The rest of it is irrelevant. People are going to notice your complexion before they're going to really notice all the eyes. And so if you're having like, if you're having a really, really good skin day and your, your complexion makeup looks flawless, yeah, you can put whatever you want on your eye. That's my personal opinion, but I believe the base is number one. Like if you knock it out of the ballpark, you can do whatever you want on your eye. You can put an elephant on there and nobody care. That's my opinion. Those are really, really fun questions. I really enjoyed that. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It was a fun little, just fun video. I love these little tag videos. They're just, they're just kind of fun, you know? It like takes the stress off and I just get to chit chat and act like an idiot and yeah. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to head over to Hot Mess Mama MD so that you can check out her video and her channel and let her know that you're from my family and show her some love because she is freaking amazing and I just love her to death. And Teresa, thank you for this amazing tag video. Again, your video made me almost pee my pants. Well, I probably did, but I'm, I, okay, fine, I did. I did, just a little, just, uh, just a little bit. That's all that matters. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you all so much. Bye.